I just can't get away from a good time. Right, I promised myself that in four minutes I would get everything done. So rather than me type everything out, I thought I'd give you a quick news brief. It gives me a chance to say good morning. And for those of you who um, want to realise that all men are not created equal, here I am. I hope I'm not disturbing your grits. Good morning and a happy Monday. I had yesterday, Sunday off from answering questions. I'd answered over three and a half thousand questions during um, the last six days. So yesterday I rested. I took about two hours to find something to watch on Netflix and then just 20 minutes to fall asleep while watching it. So let's cover some bits and pieces, shall we? And I want to start off with the cover photo. As you can see, or maybe not see, you haven't seen it yet, you can see that it will be the Carnival Panorama. There she is in dry dock in Portland. And as you can see, she is whale tail less. But I have great news and glad tidings of joy. Uh, and that is that the ship has completed the work. Or well, the chief engineer and uh, the uh, the people helping have completed the work on the starboard side isopod. And that work is complete. And so she has uh, a departure date of today, the 11th. Uh, she will then sail back to, um, where is she going? She's going to Victoria, comma, British Columbia, comma, Canada, full stop. I've got to get it right. Uh, she will then have the whale tail put back on. Then she will turn around and head back up to L Long Beach. And she is on schedule and will be back to give our Christmas cruisers the best of times. So in uh, the great news is that everything is on schedule for her to return and uh, for those of you who are so excited about cruising and have perhaps understandably been a little bit nervous then um, there I hope that will settle your nerves and I must say a huge thank you to the incredible people the engineers who have done this huge job and got the ship back ready um, to leave dry dock, have a whale tail put back on and then head to Long Beach. Now also, uh, you will have seen that I just posted a, a video uh, from the cruise director on board the Carnival Jubilee, our flagship. That cruise director, of course, is Amazon Prime. People call her Kindle, it's Amazon. Anyway, she posted a lovely video of the walk into the aft dining room, the Pacific dining room. Uh, where you're going to have uh, assigned and YTD people eating. And the beautiful centre lights are stunning. Take a look down there and have a look at that video. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, she has left Tenerife. They did stores and refuelling. And then now she's beginning her transatlantic crossing on her way to go to the uh, port of Nassau, Bahamas. Quick stop there and then... Sometime in the morning of the 20th of December, we will have her arriving into her home of Galveston, Texas. I know hundreds of you want to come and join uh, each other on the pier. So I promise I will let you know close to the time when the ship is going to be there specifically at what time. So you can come in and give her a proper Texan welcome. Now, I also spoke to the lead hotel director and one of my best friends, Mr. Pierre Camilleri, and I asked him a couple of questions. The first was about the Seuss at Sea breakfast. Um, that's going to be starting on the Carnival Jubilee on a, around the 6th, the cruise is the 6th of January. Sadly, it's not going to be ready for the first two cruises, which is very normal when we bring out a new ship. Also, I asked him about the Behind the Fun tour. Um, that's not going to be available straight away. Uh, we will look to be doing that, he said, hopefully in the middle of January. He will give me a heads up um, about that. Now, talking of behind the fun, uh, we should tell you also that we've been testing pre-sales on the Internet for Carnival Horizon. It has been a brilliant success. And so in very early January, it is our intention to put uh, pre-sales for every ship for Behind the Fun. So you'd buy it just like you would an excursion online. I don't have an exact date, but sometime in January, and I will let you all know when it is there for you. So I think that's a better way of doing it personally, and I think uh, many of you would agree. Uh, last thing with... <coughs> excuse me, can't shake this cold. 
<coughs> excuse me right the last thing um with carnival jubilee is a lot of you've been asking about uh, faster to the fun we won't be doing that for at least the first two or three months uh, on a new ship as normal so again i will let you know but the ship is coming to you texas i hope you've booked spaces for 2024 are absolutely at a premium there are very few left um, and that's for so many of our ships so thank you once again to all of you for um for everything you've done to keep our sails better than well i'm gonna say yeah any other cruise line in the world now, weather. Well, the weather has been taking a toll, hasn't it? Um, I read very sadly that people had lost their lives in um, uh, tornadoes in Tennessee. And of course, our thoughts are with everybody there. And anywhere else has been very inclement weather. And one of those places is in the Hudson River. Carnival Venezia was expected to cruise, uh, leave yesterday from New York. But uh, you will see that she is still there. And I want to read the letter that Captain Kupisti, great friend of mine as well, uh, sent to all the guests and announcements were made yesterday about this. And this is what was sent. Um, I won't try and do it in the Italian accent. Uh, Dear Carnival Venezia guests, as announced earlier, unfavorable weather marked by strong winds is currently impacting the Hudson Bay area, a route we must navigate shortly after we depart. After consulting with our fleet operations centre and local pilots, we've determined that it's unsafe to sail through these uh, conditions. Consequently, we will remain docked until tomorrow morning when conditions are expected to improve. That's this morning, on Monday morning. And then, of course, uh, we apologise for this weather-related delay. And um, we, I know uh, the captain says here, I know the crew are going to do everything they can to make sure that uh, everybody has the best of times and are kept safe and very, very sound. Coach Cruz, like, subscribe, share. You know what to do. Yeah, that's it. Celebration. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Now, I also want to mention, finally, um, eggs it would be stupid of me and ridiculous of me not to mention it i'm not going to go you know i never thought that i'd be spending um time being screamed at and called all sorts of names because of eggs um, the omelet stations remain um you can order four or five different types of omelet with the uh plain omelet the cheese omelet the uh, ham and cheese omelet the full vegetarian omelet and yes you can order an egg white omelet plus you can order sunny side up eggs over easy egg laid down on one side i don't know all the different permutations but none of that has changed please stop asking me questions if you want to i'll answer them i've collated all of them and today um they're going to be sent to the beards no changes are planned, but I will, I promise, make sure they understand. Some of you are asking for different types of omelette. Most of you have been very nice. Some of you have been a little disappointed, and one or two of you have called me all sorts of names, and a few people made some really awful comments to me about, not just me, I don't care about what you say about me, I've said that a thousand times, but bringing my family into this? Why? What's that got to do with an omelette? Anyway... Um, we will carry on making sure you have hundreds of breakfast choices. And you literally do when you think about all the different food that is available at breakfast on the Lido and down in the dining room for brunch and port day breakfast. Well, there is plenty for you to enjoy. If you are going to be nasty to me this week, that's fine. If you bring my family into it, like a few of you did and suggesting that it doesn't matter what you said, I have a warning for you. I have now watched season one of How to Get Away with Murder. See you soon, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, YouTubers, check me. This is Cookie, your cruise retro on the Carnival Horizon down in Miami, Florida. Trust me, number one, you want to follow this man's channel, Coach Cruise, because he's the absolute best coach out here. Not about fitness, but about cruising. Trust <laughs> me, he's going to make sure you have the best time ever because he knows the ins and outs of every cruise that you go on. So click that like, follow button, and share more about this brother right here. Not only is he my coach, but he's my cousin. We'll see you all <laughs> on the next cruise. Until then, we're out of here. All Peace. Right. I just can't get away from a good